is the beginning of another adventure. We are one day before going to the Arts and Crafts Fair. So this is Wednesday and I need to get everything packed up and ready to go. So the first thing I'm gonna work on is what I'm wearing for the next four to five days and getting that all packed. And then I need to go pack the car with the tables and chairs and everything that we use at the show, except for the things that I showed in the previous video that are in bags. I will pack those in the morning before we leave. So let me show you what so I'm gonna wear. I'm studying the weather for the next few days. I discovered that I had to change my mind on some things that I was wearing because it's going to be cooler here. It's gonna be in the low 60s. So I have gone to long sleeves and longer jeans. So on one of the days, and I'm thinking it's going to be Saturday, I think I'm going to choose this outfit. And because it's the autumn season, I'm going to stick with one of my little pumpkin shirts that I've uh, picked up from a craft show or something. This little uh, jacket, this little jacket came from my favorite Riley Girls. And uh, I believe I got it two or three years ago. And it just goes with so many things. Even though it is, you know see-through airy um it's fairly warm and it won't be like too hot or too chilly with the t-shirt and then i got these from a craft show several years ago and they're just distressed jeans that the girl did uh, they're actually men's jeans and she fixes them and distresses them and adds pearls and just makes them super cute so i thought that would be fun for our arts and crafts festival and then I'm going to wear some of the jewelry that I made. Uh, this is the Lariat necklace. And of course it has pearls and things uh, on it. A little Brighton jewelry uh, bracelet. A ring that came from, believe it or not, Avon many, many, many years ago. And some pearl earrings that my sister-in-law gave me. So that's gonna be the jewelry that goes with that outfit. And then possibly these shoes. Now, even though it's going to be cool, you know, I've told you before, my feet are always hot. <laughs> so I just wear sandals and I am perfectly comfortable. On another day, this is going to be an outfit that I wear. This came from Talbot's last year. Uh, I thought it was great for the harvest season. This is a t-shirt that I've had for many, many years. And I think that the colors pick up just fine with the plaid. And then I'm gonna wear another necklace that I made. This is also a Lariat necklace with a um, natural stone that I wire wrapped on it. And then it just has various colors of gold and um, you know things that I think would go with the sweater. And then this bracelet, a wrap bracelet, I got from an estate sale. And just some gold hoop earrings and a ring that my sister-in-law gave me a few years ago, since it's kind of got the orange look to it. And then I may change from those shoes to these more plain, doesn't have any leopard print in it, because, um, you know, I don't want the patterns to just be absolutely nuts, even though as an art person, <laughs> patterns and stuff just makes me happy, but we won't go too crazy. And then for my jeans, I'm just going to wear some J. Crew distressed jeans uh, that are distressed on the bottom only. They have no holes in them. They're just um, distressed at the bottom. These are some of my favorite ones, and I need to be comfortable on those days. So I'm definitely going to be comfortable in my J. Crew jeans. And then on another day, I found another jacket. And I believe this was also from the Riley Girls, so from cream to olive. And this one's a little bit different textured than that one, but also a jacket. And I thought it would look fine over this t-shirt. Now, if it's too warm and I need to change my mind, I'm going to add this. Uh, so this is kind of a buttonless cardigan or kimono, whatever you want to call it. It's knit and a little bit lighter than the jacket. So I'll just decide which one feels better. We're going to be in an area, it's, it's kind of a huge, huge barn, but it has a concrete floor. 
um, they do heat it, but because of doors opening and closing, I'm not sure. Last year, I did not get cold at all. It was pretty warm. So this year, we'll just see. And that's kind of why I'm taking clothing that I can layer and, uh, you know, remove if I need to or change up in some way. So again, I probably will just wear these jeans. I think wearing jeans a couple of days does not hurt anything because I'm not going to be doing any work that's going to make me perspire, so they should be just fine. And then I'll just keep those shoes once again. Now, tomorrow we're going to load in uh, on Thursday, sometime in the afternoon. So, so tomorrow we're going to load in, and my sister gave me this t-shirt. We got one just like the other day when we had sister day, and it's just a cute, it's upside down, but it's just a cute little pumpkin, a pink pumpkin on a short-sleeved gray, very comfortable but warm t-shirt. And then I just have a pair of um, gray cargo pants. And let's see where these are from. Oh, these are Pilcro. I love them. They're very, very comfortable. So they did come from Anthropology a few years ago. And they're sort of ankle length, and I think they'll be just fine to wear for... Um, loading in and out of the car and then I, with those I'm going to probably wear I think um, my shoes that are the Chacos because those will be comfortable for going in and out of the building so that is what I'm going to be doing getting this all together and out to load tomorrow morning the other things I need to do today, I need to Swiffer, I need to clean off my windshield. A few other things that we need to take care of today before we head out. I'll just have to think about it. And um, I think that's about it. And so I've got my um, things that I'm going to pack to take. Like I said, I'm just gonna take my clothes on hangers. I'm not going to fold them and pack them. In a suit. Normal packing that I use, I love the Bag Smart look these up, Amazon. Um, they are wonderful for light traveling. I have the carry-all, I have the toiletry case, and now this is not a bag smart, it is a caboodle. And I love this to carry my makeup in. And then this little thing is what I put my jewelry in, and this uh, drawstring pouch is what I put my makeup in. And of course that will all be taken care of tomorrow. I think I need so, to go get busy, get the swiffering done, and get outside and go pack the car. So these are gonna be exciting days. We are hopeful that we will sell things. I have been praying <laughs> hard and hoping, and uh, you know, when you make things and you want to sell to other people, it just blesses your heart when someone buys something and it kind of breaks your heart when you get passed by, but you know, that's just that's just what these craft shows are kind of about. But you know, it, it's enjoyable to meet new people, be with my daughter and my sister, and just enjoy these next three days of the festival. All right, this is the current car situation. We are loaded up. <laughs> And I think we're finally ready to go. Yes? Yes. We are finally headed out. We have had a bit of a delay. <laughs> Poor Suzanne was, no, it's not your fault. Poor Suzanne was sick yesterday. We, we weren't quite sure what she had. Still don't. So, um, 101, 102 fever. Um, she was just out of it yesterday. So I went ahead and got her an appointment at the clinic that we have here this morning. And we went and her temperature was gone. She's feeling better somewhat. Um, we had a COVID test, no COVID. So we're clear on those things, no flu. Uh, so I don't know, it was just kind of like a 24 hour virus thing. Mm -hmm. we, we're not quite sure. So, I still want to take precautions. She's probably not going to sit up with me. We'll just see how she feels. Even if she just sat, I don't know if she'd want to do that. But, 
hopefully by tomorrow she'll feel a little bit better but anyway now my tire is showing showing um the inflate button is on so we're gonna go Yay. check the tires <laughs> just one more thing just one more thing but we have plenty of time because i can sit up until eight o'clock this evening and it's only 12 30 so we're, we're good it's not that big a deal but we are packed the car is packed we're ready to go so we're gonna check the tires and then we will head that way so this is the adventure that we had planned to go to the arts and crafts festival in this town where she lives and i will get to stay with her for four days and participate and hope and pray that we will do okay i hope we will sell well that sure would boost our confidence yeah and just help you know a little bit i'm you know i've said many times i'm a retired teacher and you may think that i spend a lot of money because we're always showing stuff but i really don't we're pretty frugal in many mm -hmm. things we just uh because we do a lot of things with the things that we buy so you know but anyway we we just want to make some extra money for future trips you know future things that go on so we will bring you along with us as much as possible and we thank you very much for joining us on this new little adventure so here we go all right so we had to stop at the pharmacy and pick up her prescription we talked to the doctor that uh, helped suzanne quite a bit today and mentioned the fact that she bless her heart is having the same problems that i have with um i just have extreme heartburn and they've had her on omnoprazole. I don't know if that's exactly how you say it. And I am on lanzoprazole. Lanzoprazole. And so I never feel anything when I'm on it. So that's what they put her on. It was 15. Okay. And I don't know if it's a good idea or not because I've read about the drugs. You know, I read about everything. I, I read, I shouldn't read because then it makes you worry. But. It's supposed to affect your kidneys, your liver, you know, but doing blood work every year mm -hmm. or every six months is supposed to keep a check on that. So if anything ever starts happening, then we'll go from there, I guess. I hate being on the medication, but Pepsid does no good. Mm -mm. There's no other antacid out there that helps our particular type of heartburn. <laughs> or GERD or whatever you want to call it. So she is going to now be on that and hopefully it will help her better than the other one. All right, so now we're ready to go to the clinic and then we'll be off. So we are having a little Cane's chicken to tide us over, a little lemonade, a little Sprite until later today. And it is quite good. Well, we are going to go to a couple of estate sales on our way to the festival because they're very close to where we were, so it's not really out of the way. So maybe Suzanne will find some school supplies here. Yes. This is not half price day, so we're very uh, cautious about what we buy on these days. We have sheets and towels and things, bedding, wall hanging. Chest of drawers is three hundred dollars. Dresser is three hundred dollars. Mother used to have one like that. Uh, it's kind of a little mini uh, cedar chest. Belt. Always wanted one of those. Not real, but you know. Yeah. 
No dolls. Mm -hmm. Most generally, all of them are 15. That's what they ask for. Them. Oh, that one down there with the plaid is pretty. Is here. Oh, isn't she cute? That's cute. And what were those called? Uh, cot, uh, cot, cot, pack, cotton patch? Cabbage patch. Cabbage patch, cabbage patch yes. And they liked lighthouses. Mm -hmm. This chest is 395. Everybody always has lots of Christmas. <clears throat> Here's some cute snowman plates. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a snowman, it's a snowman plate. <laughs> no. But you have a Christmas girl bill. Well, I want to look at them. There's some ribbons and stuff. Oh goodness. Frames, frames, frames. Wow. It's in the closet. Belts, boots, and a few bags. Yeah, let me see what the plates look like. They're all different little snowmen. Actually, it's the same snowman on four different colored plates. Made by who, what? Sweet Charlotte. No spode, no Microwave oven, oven safe? That's unusual. Thank you. Thank you. clubs I don't know that they're she finally told me what golf clubs they liked mm -hmm. but can I remember what they're called no 
Well, I'm looking for a sewing machine, but I really don't want another singer. There's a few art supplies. <laughs> All right, nothing that we could live without at this one, so we're going to move to another one possibly. This one may not be uh, much of a big deal, but we're here, so we're going to go ahead and give it a look. their VHS tapes anymore. Isn't that funny? Oh, yeah. 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 Just a little lantern thing. Yeah. Kind of cute. Yeah. Have to be wired, wouldn't it? And Suzanne goes, no! <laughs> There's that little baby Christmas tree. There's Disney. Screened in porches. Which would be nice. <clears throat> Oh, a little corning ware. Yep. It's pretty used though. The backyard is full of stuff. Oh, little dollies. Why do I always feel sorry for the little dollies? And I want to give them a home. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the way we are. Oh, it makes me hurt. You have that bear. That's why there's too much of toys here. You had that bear. I do. Mm -hmm. Ah, Chris, our uh, Coke collections. Nope, no, no, no. Walk with her, and that's what this one is. She's a walkie dog. Oh my goodness! Collection plates. Did you ever have any strawberry shortcake stuff? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. 
That's unique. A picture in the shape of a fan. There's Heather's some buffalo bookends. I know. That painting is in so many houses. Really? Uh-huh. No, I, I don't want to give him a home. <laughs> and that painting was in so many homes. So popular. I actually love that one where she's playing the piano. I love that. Oh, that's cute. Wouldn't that be cute in the music room? It would. But I don't think it goes with my Disney stuff. Oh, look, there's some Grazi or uh, some, what you call it? Yep. There's a Ten Commandments tablet. Some lots of jeans. $75 for a wedding dress. Oh, another wedding dress. So it's I lived in Dallas and I came. Yep, she That's did. November. Yep. Okay, guess what? More supplies. More school supplies. And crayons. And crayons. <laughs> Can you tell she's a school teacher? It is my sister's birthday today. And she ordered the chilies, the chicken, chicken crispers. crispers, broccoli. We're having a trio. And Suzanne and I are sharing the bacon ranch chicken quesadillas. 